this is my OnePlus story. I heard about the OnePlus One through Android Authority on YouTube. Well, I saw a ton of videos about the One on YouTube, but I think Android Authority was the first. From the camera to the battery and the software, everything felt near perfect for me. And don't even get me started on the price. When I heard about the OnePlus One, I went crazy because I had just bought my Nexus 5 like two months ago. But then I had an idea to convince my dad to take my Nexus 5 because he needed a new phone anyway. So I could buy the OnePlus One for myself and try out the beast of a phone that it is. He said only one thing, earn the money yourself and you can buy it. So here I am, an 18 year old in Hong Kong, trying to save up enough money so I can buy my dream phone. And when I finally saved up enough, I start hearing rumors about the OnePlus 2. So I say to myself, it's okay, it's okay. I'll wait for the two because OnePlus is going to make a phone so good that it'll kill all of this year's flagships once again. All I want to tell you guys is, thank you. Thank you for changing the smartphone industry. Other than the Nexus devices, which are pretty mid-tier for when they release, there was nowhere we could buy a true flagship phone for an affordable price. So thank you. What I'm looking forward to in the OnePlus 2 is a killer camera, one that can rival the LG G4, with a 16 megapixel shooter with OIS and 4K recording, uh, an 808 or 810 Snapdragon processor, or maybe even the next gen one, who knows, a 4K or 2K display, an amazing battery, like its brother the One, and expandable storage. These are literally the specs of my dream phone, and I'm sure the OnePlus 2 will live up to my expectations. Thank you.